I'm Morgan. And I'm Jake. And this is Neverland, Neverland Navigation, Navigation Radio. Radio. Everybody say Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Today we're talking about our favorite places around Walt Disney World to take pictures. Yeah. Yeah. This is, um, pictures are my favorite takeaway from a vacation. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Souvenirs, I think, are super fun, but being able to rifle through all your yeah. photos and relive some of your favorite memories from your magical vacation, it's uh, it's like priceless. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you like the photo pass photos or taking your own? For me, it is definitely a combination of both. I like having the photo pass option available to me if I want that professional picture in front of Cinderella Castle. Yeah. But there's also something about taking a selfie in line right before you're about to get on the roller coaster Mm -hmm. or whatever that has its own kind of charm that I especially enjoy. So I definitely like a mix. What about you? Yeah, I like both as well. I think that it really depends on the person you get for Mm -hmm. the photo pass. You know what I mean? I've had some really above and beyond photo pass people that I've been really impressed with. Me too. It definitely does. And also it depends on if they're trying to do one of those magic shot things, it depends on what the magic shot is, if I like it or not. Right, right. So it's not automatically that I'm going to love it because it's a magic shot. I think some of them are kind of bad. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I agree. I agree. I used to think that it was, that would make the difference. And I wanted them all to be magic shots. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. There, there have been some that are bad. I really don't like the one that like zooms in and then zooms out and then zooms in. Mm-hmm. Weird, yeah. weird I, for me. Yeah, the, there are some that I just never do as well. Um, so I think, I don't know if I'm losing money <laughs> there because I do pay for the photo pass add-on to my annual pass. Um, by not doing all of those things. But I don't know. There are some that I know I'm really going to love, and those are the, those are some of the things on this list are, like, photo pass spots. But then there are other spots where I love to take pictures. Yeah. With your photo pass, though, for, for you, when you did your wedding thing, can you talk about that for a second? Yeah. Um, there's, uh, there's something available to you called... Uh, magical moments okay is that what it is yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and that's like um a paid additional photo session that you get with a disney photo pass photographer who acts as your like photo guide for a short period of time right and you paid for that for like a certain amount of time right and then Mm -hmm. this is something i want to do yeah i think it's like 25 minutes i want to say or something and um I, it's over a hundred dollars. It's like a hundred and twenty. And then if you have the photo pass add on to your pass, then that come you get all the photos. Yeah, you don't have to pay for your pictures if you individually. Have photo pass. Well, that's really awesome. Yeah. You know what I mean? Helpful. Yeah, I did baby, um, like newborn baby photography for a while, and everybody had to like buy their pictures separately. Yeah. And then there was the digital option, but that was really expensive. Right. Yeah. So I think that this is better. It's. A happy than having to medium. pick. Oh well, I love all of them, but I've got to pick. You know. Yeah, and I think um, I think it is a happy medium. Ideally, I would love a slightly more expensive package where the photos are just included. Yeah, I think that's easier for all of the guests, and to not do it that way at Disney World feels a little. I don't know. I just feel like it would be easier if it would all be in one. Yeah. Um, but if they had to do it in a way to maximize profit at least people who already have the photo pass add on to their annual pass don't have to pay a redundant fee. Although I will say photo pass used to be included in your annual pass. So (laughs) I feel like I'm already paying a redundant fee. So if I had to pay more on top of that, it would truly be It wasn't that long ago that it was included. Yeah. Yeah. It was within the past couple of years. Yeah. So if I had to have an additional fee for photo pass, pay separately for the photo sessions and then pay separately for those photo session photos, I would not have done it. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Because you could also hire a local photographer to come with you. I mean. To celebrate special occasions. Yeah. 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 Totally. Yeah. A lot of people do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, we're going to talk about some spots and whether you do it with a photo pass person, some of them 
this won't be an option, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because if, if we're talking about a like kind of hidden spot or whatever, mm-hmm. then there's not necessarily going to be a photo pass person available. But um, in other instances, you can choose. Yeah, that that is um, really helpful because there are some um, photos or like places I really like to take photos where there aren't photo pass photographers. And some of the things Same. I'm going to talk about um, I'll go through the photo pass option or the do it yourself yeah. version. The the bonus to photo pass is that somebody's taking your picture so your whole family can be in it. Mm-hmm. Always good. Yeah, because your other option is asking a stranger to take your. I feel like I'm on Billy on the street when he's like, for a dollar, beg a stranger if they can help <laughs> you answer this question um, about trivia, um, which is super fun, but I dislike the social dynamic of having to flag down a stranger and beg them to take a photo of me. Right, right. It doesn't it's, stop me. I do it. We've done it, yeah. Um, but if I have an option, yeah, um, I would definitely prefer. And also, you can somewhat reasonably entrust Disney photographers to at least take decent photographs. I've found. Yeah. I've had some terrible photos, but just like anything in the world that is like a service industry type of thing, it totally depends on who you get. And I will say my capture your moment, which I think is the name of the photo. Oh, session, oh actually. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, our photographer. Was that was fantastic. basically the same thing as magical moments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. Agree. That person was fantastic. Yeah. So that's great. Yeah. And um, we've had just some regular photo pass photographers that have been excellent as well. Yeah, so. yeah. The hard part is a lot of times they're in popular um, areas, and you will one hundred percent have a ton of people behind you, totally doing God knows what. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, there are people that can ha- take those out. There are now programs that can take people out. Mm-hmm. So if you're techie, maybe that I get my husband to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, or just do a nice, a lot of people know how to just do a nice background blur so you can have yourself be the... Yeah, but sometimes you want, like, the castle not blurred. Yeah, that's a good point. And in those situations, then, yeah, a lot of people will maybe... There's a Reddit, subreddit called um, Photoshop Help, where you can put in a request. For money? Well, you there it's a tip system. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. So, yeah, kind of. So yeah, maybe you could check but, that yeah, out. But yeah, that I mean that makes sense. A lot of the Facebook yes. groups that I'm in, Disney Facebook groups, people will post, I love this photo. Can anyone help me Photoshop out the people? Mm-hmm. Sometimes they do. And sometimes they'll do ridiculous stuff to your photo. But and that's, that's half the fun. That's part of you getting you paying for it. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. I've seen that as well. Yeah, that's kind of fun. I would never have the goal to actually ask a group on Facebook to do this, but if you do, very cool. Uh, yeah, same. I I would rather try to do it myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's start. Let's start walking, Jack. Um, okay. But I'll, I can start us off. Yeah, you did a top ten, and I just kind of like threw a bunch of stuff on the page. So it's not. I wouldn't even say top ten. It's just ten examples. Okay. Is mine, and they're not in any particular order. Um, my first one is the Discovery Island trails assorted <laughs> all over. Perfect. Um, the top. Uh, the front half of Animal Kingdom, um, all around the Tree of Life. Okay. Yeah, that's on my list as well. Yeah. Once you head into Animal Kingdom, you will see the Tree of Life, obviously, is the main icon that you walk toward. And then once you make it through the hub on either side of the Tree of Life, there are these trails that wind around um, all of the little pathways that encircle the tree and give you some really unique views of the carvings on the tree, of the animals that the Imagineers have carved into the design. And um, there are some really nice little spots along the edge where you can stop for a nice photo. Yeah. Unique angles, different different vantage points where you get to see different animals on the tree. It's just something a little um, different than when you walk in and you see the photo pass person there who will take your photo as soon as you walk in with the tree of life behind you. To me, uh, something that detracts from the experience is the commotion of being in a crowd setting. Yeah. I find it very stressful to take a photo in that kind of environment. Uh-huh. Um, and I also think that the heat um, really gets to me there because it's totally uncovered. Um, so that's tough. At least in the trails, there's maybe more of a shady vibe. There's also places where there's nobody behind you because you're up against a fence or a whatever. Railing, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
and that so helps. That's huge. And if you can have the person that's taking the picture, if it's somebody like from your family or whatever, um, like crouch down and take kind of an upward angle, that's fun. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, definitely highlights the like majesty yeah. of the tree because yeah. it definitely is like this beautiful naturalistic thing that's like beautiful to have in the background of photos and to get it from like a unique vantage point is always fun. Yeah. So I have more than 10, so I'll just try to say ones that, well, I don't know what you're going to say, I guess. Well, that's okay. If you say it, I won't. Okay. Well, I know, but you only have 10. Well, that's fine. All right. Um, I will try to go with some of my more possibly different, are yours pretty like mainstream? Um, it's a mix. Okay. All right. All right. It's a blend. Um, all right. Well, I will say that in Be Our Guest, there are some cool photo spots in, in the Be Our Guest restaurant in Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Um, outside of the restaurant and inside of the restaurant. So there's like the wall of, um, and it, this will completely depend on whether there's a bunch of people there or not. But yeah. Uh, there's the wall with all of the um, armor. What's what am what am I looking? The for? knights. The knights. The uh -huh. knights in armor. Yeah. And um, next to the bathrooms, there's like a a cool picture. Mm. I can't. You'll see it if you go in there. Anyway, there's some pretty good picture spots in there. Cool. I've never seen that one. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. I like the knights, and I also think. Um... The beautiful stained glass rose mm -hmm. at the exit yeah. although that can be a little because it's right at the exit it can be a little crowded yeah to take a picture there if you find a slow spot a slow a sweet spot in the crowd flow and you manage to take a quick pick um in front of that stained glass window it's really beautiful yeah yeah all right all right be our guest that one was not on my list but that's definitely a beautiful place for pictures um I guess I'm staying in Animal Kingdom because Pandora is on here. At night? Did you put at night? Um, I think I'll do day, you do night. <laughs> <laughs> in the daytime, the floating mountains are really um, easier to capture mm -hmm. because at nighttime, they are um, flooded with light, like purple and blue light, which can make for really cool pictures. Um, but... The daytime, I would say it's easier yeah. to capture. Yeah. So if you're looking for pictures of the floating mountains in daytime, for sure. Um, also, it's a really great time to get pictures of uh, waterfalls and stuff. Yeah. Because the daylight on the waterfall helps to make it more easily seen in pictures. Um, and I recommend those waterfalls as photo spots 100%. There's one by Flight of Passage that's mm -hmm. really beautiful. Yeah. There are a few walkways um, that are kind of... I want to say like bridge like they are kind of lit up in a way that you can get a good night picture and still get some of the bioluminescence mm -hmm. very cool very, very cool. cool i think that plant thing if you walk in um from the discovery island entrance of pandora um that thing is really cool and i think it's cool for pictures i also think a neat place to get pictures would be in the drum circle However, oh. there that is usually crowded, so there might be other people in the background. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. There's also a wall here. You know how there are Instagram walls throughout the Disney parks yeah. now? There's one in Pandora that's referred to by some as the mossy wall. Um, it's just a wall of, like, moss and foliage and some flowers and stuff. It's kind of pretty. Um, Isn't there one that says, you are beautiful? Is that in Pandora? Oh, no, no, no. In Animal Kingdom. Yeah. I thought we is. were just talking about Animal Kingdom. Yeah, there okay. is. That one is, it's in, that one's in Africa, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool, too. Yeah. There's also one that's like a, a stylized, it's supposed to be like a hand-painted Mickey Mouse. Yeah. I think that's cool. Yeah. That I mean, he looks tattoo. weird, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does look weird, but like, I think that's like, it's got some folksy charm sure, to it. Sure, sure. I like it. All right. You want me to go on? Yeah. Okay. That was my Pandora. <laughs> my next one is um, taking a picture up on, like, okay, at the Boardwalk Resort, but, like, on the Boardwalk. <sighs> yeah. Up, if you're up against, like, the railing that's kind of overlooking the water, mm -hmm. then you can get a picture where there's nobody behind you, especially if you, like, if if you're up against the railing and then the person is, like, down the railing taking a picture of you mm -hmm. then um 
it's cool because there's nobody behind you and it's just kind of a very artistic picture that gets boardwalk and if it's at night the boardwalk lights behind you i didn't think of this but that is such a good idea because the boardwalk lights and that you know that bay behind it yeah um i think it's a really classic image and i think it's really beautiful very beautiful yeah i love being on the boardwalk um and the fact that it makes for great pictures doesn't hurt anything either right yeah i just love the vibe of being out there as well it definitely puts you in old school family fun zone. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, I love it at night. Oh, yeah. And when the nights, when the, the lights, lights come on, it's so yeah. beautiful. When it's um, first sunsetty and the lights come on and all the families are gathering around on the lawn to watch the movie, um, I think the boardwalk vibe is like really, really nice. Yeah. It's not as hustly and bustly as the theme parks or Disney Springs or even a busy resort lobby or anything like that. It just kind of feels like an outdoor shopping mall on a summer Friday night where all the yeah. families are kind of bustling about to the restaurants and stuff and it's casual and lovely. Yeah. Definitely recommend the boardwalk to anyone. Absolutely. Um, I also have... Now, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge obviously has several iconic photo locations, um, but in my opinion, none stands out more than the Millennium Falcon. Oh, really? Photo op, because... One stands out more to me. Really? Yeah. Well, then maybe we'll hear that next. We will. (laughs) Um, But I love the Millennium Falcon, too. You're right. I just think Iconic. Yeah. The, like, recreation of it is so impressive. Especially if you're someone, I love those photos of everyone holding their lightsabers yeah. out. That's so cool. We have a really good one where, where the, do? no, you and me and, and yeah, it's from like my birthday, like four or five years but ago. But not with lightsabers. No, we were, the the photographer had us all put our hands out like we were. Um, Jedi. Yeah, like we were manipulating the force or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and it came out really fun. The f- I will say I have never had a bad photo pass experience over there. Yeah. Their photo pass photographers are really good in Galaxy Edge. And really into the whole making you look like you're part of the Star Wars. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're like, all right, now you're going to use your force yeah. power. Step forward powerfully. Like they really get into the spirit of it. Yeah. Which I think helps you feel not so anxious about taking a silly picture. Yeah. Yeah. We got great pictures over there. We did. I have and also, when it's nighttime over there, it's also really beautiful. Yes. So it's another one of those two-for-one things. Yeah. I think that's this true is, of a lot of locations. For me, this is like the castle in that it's such an iconic thing. You want a picture with it, but there's no way you're going to get a picture without a ton of other people. So this is one where you want to try to find somebody that can help you take out the people in the background or maybe rope drop it for a picture. Like People do. Yeah. People also will wait until late, late at night when it's like really starting to thin out over there and they'll camp out for a really good nighttime picture. Oh, wow. And you kind of can. That's commitment. Yeah. You kind of can. We'll because both. people yeah. will kind of, for the most part, um, wait their turn for the one really good photo with no one in the background. That's nice. So if you can get that kind of moment, then yeah. that's, I guess, the ideal. Yeah. 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 So my... Batu picture of choice would be basically on Rise of the Resistance, but in the room of stormtroopers. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that the the basically before you get on the ride, but you're now in the the part of the line where it's interactive and you're essentially right. I, I don't even this know. This is how such to a it. different this experience is like a cue. from anything at Walt Disney yeah, World. Yeah. Yeah. It truly transcends pre-show. Yeah. Into it's, like, its own thing. Technically you're in a line, but yeah, not really. You're also you're... part of the experience. Yeah. 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 It's very odd. When you get off of the first pre-show thing, then you, you're opened up into a ship where there are just rows and rows of stormtroopers in front of you. And it is like an amazing thing to behold. Yeah. And you can get a picture in front of them. The person that that is playing, the cast member that's playing, you know, their role, it might give you a hard time, but that's mm-hmm. part of the experience. Yeah. I. That's honestly, that's probably a good thing to say because it's such an unconventional setup for a queue it might be worth saying that you are allowed to take pictures in that room um and if you want to you should stop and take one you don't have to because um it's an open room where 
you can either walk right by and join the rest of the line down a separate corridor, or you can kind of uh, linger and take it in and take pictures. Right. Um, which is what I recommend doing because the line is really not going anywhere. And, You're, yeah, no reason to hurry up and wait. And also you've, by that point, waited a fair amount of time for the experience. Yeah. So you might as well. Or purchased a. <laughs> yeah, or spent or purchased, money yeah. on a lightning lane. So you might as well take the time to soak in the details. And that room just the scale of that room alone oh is my gosh. extremely impressive. You feel like you're in an aircraft oh, hangar. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm so impressed with that room. I, I think that that's like more impressive to me than anything else in the ride, even though it's not even part of the ride. You it know is, what I mean? Yeah, it really does. It's noteworthy that part of, I guess, the queue or the pre-show or whatever really is one of the defining moments of the experience. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right, your turn? Sure. Um, yeah, that, yes. Um, I'm going to do Behind the Cinderella Castle. Okay. I put to the sides. <laughs> yeah. So. I also have the wishing well on there. Oh, okay. So that's kind of to the side. Yeah. Um, but Behind Cinderella Castle offers a different vantage point of one of the most popular photographs ever taken, which is family photo in front of Cinderella Castle. Mm -hmm. um, this is like a little bit of a remix. Um, if you're in between the castle and Prince Charming's Regal Carousel, you can get some really good views of um, the gorgeous sprawling tower. And there's a lot of intricate details on the back spires uh -huh. um, that um, a lot of people maybe won't choose to be the backdrop of their family photo, but it makes for a really interesting picture um, yeah. if you want to do it a little bit differently. And they light it at night. It's pretty. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, for for my similar um, suggestion, to the side of the front of Cinderella's castle, there are like some, like if you're looking at the castle, and you go a little bit to the right or to the left. There are some archways. Mm -hmm. You know, did you have like one of the your wedding photos there? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's to the left. Yes. If you're looking at the castle. And a few steps. So that makes a beautiful backdrop, like Jake has in his wedding picture, where it's just got the arches. But you can tell that that's like a medieval castle. You know what I mean? Right. Very regal. Cavernous. Yeah. Regal. Yeah, but yeah. if you take a few steps from there, then you actually can have the castle in the background and still have the arch. Yeah. Like, if you're taking the picture from inside of it, if that makes sense. Yeah, like you're standing in the path between the castle and the arches. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that is a really good spot so, for the picture. So, yeah, picking some, like, out-of-the-box castle pictures is a smart thing to do. I'm not saying don't get the one, the the photo pass one in front of the castle you should yeah get it so if you like it yeah but but having some out of the box ones might you might wind up liking that more yeah check out the wishing well too that's yeah. um if you are um if you're checking out the wishing well what's really cool about it is that you could um stage two people on the opposite sides of the wishing well looking at each other and then have the castle in the background so if you're a couple that might be interesting to you or if you just want to stand on the, or don't stand on it, stand against the railing um, behind the wishing well, then you have an unobstructed view of Cinderella Castle with no people in the background. So you can get a picture there. The trick of that is that you're fairly close to the castle, so your photographer will have to set themselves fairly far back from you to get a photo that has you in it and the castle in yeah. it. But there have been some really surprisingly good turnout photos. I know... For Dapper Day, there are some photographers that kind of just set up shop there and take pictures of people who want pictures all day long. Yeah. Just because it's kind of a unique view of the castle. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to stay in the same area. Yeah. So my next suggestion is from the kind of the top of the Swiss Family Treehouse. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. The Swiss Family Treehouse is something I almost never do. Yeah, same. But the but vantage But you can get points, some, yeah, amazing photos. Really, especially if you're trying to take really good fireworks pictures, I would assume you could get some really good ones from up there. And nobody will be behind you. Yeah. 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 We should go up there one time. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. should bring some snacks. <laughs> camp out. That'd be fun. Yeah. Also, if you are looking to get a good picture of you in the castle from straight on i would say this works better for individual shots 
there are two turrets on either side of the hub that have small arches in them that can offer a direct frame of you up against the angled castle. That's kind of what I meant. That's not where that picture is taken? No. That, oh. that is See, like, that's what I meant. Gotcha. Okay. The photo that I had taken, or that a lot of people have taken, is in a hallway that is um, off to the left side of Cinderella Castle, um, like you're about to go into Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. Oh, okay. It's like off. Oh, to the I side. didn't even know that's where that was taken. Yeah, um, that's cool. I have photos as well of um, myself in front of the castle at one of the. Um, at one of those side turrets in the hub. And that can offer some really good views as well. Yeah. Because you kind of get to... And there's no one behind you. And there's no one behind you. Because so... you're up against a rail. Yeah, you got a little railing there. Anytime you can get a picture where there's like a rail or something behind you, fantastic. Jump on it. Yeah. So if you don't have photo pass and you don't want to deal with begging someone in the busy main street to stop and take a photo of you in front of the Cinderella castle, mm -hmm. then maybe try out one of these side locations and you might get a good uh, photo that you like. Yeah. Gosh, I thought I had another Magic Kingdom one, but I don't see it. Now I'm won wondering if I... Uh, well, we should mention, it. I guess, the purple wall. Yeah. Honestly, See, okay. I'm over it now. It's funny. Yeah, it... That's such a thing, the purple wall, and then at Epcot, the bubblegum wall. Mm -hmm. But I, if I'm going to have, like, just kind of a plainish back, a non-icon background, I would rather go to the land and take a picture in front of the mosaic. Ooh. Yeah, I bet the light can probably get tricky in a covered space like that. But if you can make it work, yeah. that's such a, like, one-of-a-kind kind of thing. Yeah. The purple wall was formerly just purple, and then they painted a design onto it. Um, the bubblegum wall at least has some striking, like a striking design on it that's kind of fun, but I kind of agree with you that it's kind of cool to have something a little bit more singular as a background. Like something more, you couldn't find this anywhere. It's not just a painted wall. It's like a beautiful arrangement of tile mosaic. Or, yeah. I love pictures. I have a really hard time with like the really bright Florida sunlight and low lighting, like as a combination, which huh. is a lot of outdoor photos at Walt Disney World. So I can never get these right, but I love seeing really good photographers take photos of the murals underneath Cinderella Castle, like the hallway that goes through Cinderella Castle. Those murals are so fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. One of my favorite Magic Kingdom pictures of all time was I took of Bailey on the teacups mm. and like while spinning I'm taking a picture Fun. hairs like out here I blurred the background and um you know just that that look of pure joy mm -hmm. instead of like a staged yeah. smile you know what I mean Candid. if you can get a picture while on the teacups that's a fun one. That's a great idea. I also think People Mover makes for a good picture. I agree. The People Mover can be very photogenic. There's a lot of good, like, natural light that goes on on the People Mover as well. Mm -hmm. um, but also, obviously, unique views of Cinderella Castle. Yep. Gorgeous views of Tron Light Cycle Run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so new. I just, like, in my head, it's not there yet. Mm -hmm. Like, when I'm on the people mover. I agree. I still feel like I'm going to drive past a construction site <laughs> because that's how it's been for years. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I would say the railroad is probably in a similar vein. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem with the railroad is that it's um, sequential roads and not singular cars like right. the people mover. So if you sit maybe in the back row or up against the edge, you're like the first one in right. or the last one into a given row, then you can maybe get a really good singular shot of you with something interesting in the background because yeah. the train has some interesting um, little sights that it passes through, like the villages and the covered wagons and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, that might be all of my Magic Kingdom one. Okay. Um, oh, I've got one more for Magic Kingdom. Okay. Tom Sawyer Island. You can get oh. some really good photos on there. If you want photography, honestly, if you wanted to do a Western photo shoot, I think my number one recommendation for you would be Tom Sawyer's Island because you can get gorgeous, unobstructed views of Big Thunder Mountain behind yeah. you. 
and that can be really nice. Also, it's just got a rustic vibe to it. So you could take a photo with the Tom Sawyer fence. Um, yeah. You could take a photo. You can make it look like you're camping. <laughs> you really could. They also have a fort in there, like a fortress mm -hmm. um, playset for kids, kind of. Uh, I guess playset isn't the right word. It's like a... Yeah. It's like a... Oh my, this An is area? this is a really hard thing to yeah. describe. Yeah. So you go, you're on Tom Sawyer's Island and you go into this one area that's meant to look like a fort. And mostly it's kids like running around on the multiple levels, chasing each other, like yeah. playing, you know, cops and robbers or whatever and having fun. But there's also some um, like displays of animatronic animals behind wires and stuff. They're not super impressive, but yeah. they're helping to add to the ambiance. And I think that whole rustic area is kind of a fun place for a photo shoot where you might not even necessarily know that you're at Walt Disney World. Yeah, yeah. Unless you got Big Thunder Mountain behind you. <laughs> <laughs> that it's pretty obvious. Yeah. Yeah. I've taken some, we've taken some pretty good um, photos over at Tom Sawyer Island. It's really pretty over there. Um, when you start to get toward golden hour, but that's when they kick you off because it closes at sunset. Right. So you got to kind of time it. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to jump back to Animal Kingdom. Are you done with Animal Kingdom? Um, let me see. Oh, I have one more for Animal Kingdom. I have two more for Animal Kingdom. Oh, okay. Turns out. Well, go ahead. Okay. Um, one I have is the Maharaja Jungle Trek. Oh, okay. Maharaja Jungle Trek is where you go to see the tigers in the Asian, the Asia land of Animal Kingdom. Um, but it's beautiful in there. Absolutely beautiful. Um, it's themed to be temple ruins. Um, so you've got a lot of big elaborate sets behind you um, that have a lot of cool photo ops. They've got um, like a big bucket of umbrellas that's really cool that you can take a photo with. Um, they also have a bridge here where there's a lot of hanging torn and faded prayer flags above you yeah um and the mist rolls into that area so if the light hits it right you can get some really stunning pictures on that little passageway through the um the tiger sanctuary in there also really fun to say hi to the tigers and get some good wildlife photography if you're into that a lot of good angles for that there yeah um, mine in Animal Kingdom is Everest, like in front of Everest, but not like right there in front of Everest. Mm -hmm. I love a picture here from either, either the balcony seating area from where they were showing kites or Flame Tree. I think oh, Flame the Tree. kites. Yeah. <laughs> I was like the kites, kite The tail. kite show, yeah. Yeah. Um, um but the, the rivers of light stadium or yeah, whatever yeah right right the or if you go down like you're eating at flame tree or if you're eating at flame tree mm -hmm. and you go down then there's some really there's some really you could get a really pretty picture with everest in the background i love i don't think there's anything that is like so beautiful that's meant to resemble nature across the disney parks as expedition everest yeah. i think it's so so pretty um, another, like, if you want a photo pass, I would say that is the ideal situation if you're taking your own photo, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. If you want a photo pass, there are a couple for Expedition Everest, but my favorite is on the bridge from the Theater in the Wild, which is where they show Finding Nemo, the musical, um, to Asia, the Everest area, because the photo pass photographer there is up against the wall of the bridge so there's nobody in the background right and there's a magic shot there where they add snow and they tell you to look like you're cold and i think it's really cute yeah yeah that's fun that's <laughs> they fun. don't like it's not like they insert a png of the yeti <laughs> or whatever it's not one of those it's just like a filter with snow on it and that's I, cool. I think with having expedition everest in the background the little fake snow it's just like a fun kitschy vacation Cheesy. photo yeah yeah and they take like some nice ones as well. Right. So you don't have to worry. It's not your only option. Yeah, I like it. Expedition Everest. I love that. I would honestly say that the Asia portion of Animal Kingdom is one of my favorite places to take photos just in general. It's one of my favorite places to just hang out. Yeah. Especially at night. Oh, at night it really turns With, into something entirely I'm different. I'm a big fan of string lights. I'm coming to 
find out. <laughs> they <laughs> do. Honest. They do a lot. They, yeah. They add like a warm glow that is, I think, hard to replace. Like there's such a, that's why I love Hollywood Studios so much because at night it's string light central over there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> Um, but even uh, Expedition Everest um, or the Asia area at night, you just see the colors and the details of everything come through in a different way. Yeah. I love it over there. Yeah. Animal Kingdom should be open for longer at night so oh, I can enjoy I it for longer it and not be. have to deal yeah. with the, the heat of the day. Yeah. One day. Yeah. One day they'll bring back a, um, a new... Rivers of Light style experience that I guess um, will receive better guest feedback because I guess that's the reason that they didn't want to keep doing Rivers of Light. I, I think, liked it. I think they should at least have something in there. I don't care how bad it is. Yeah. They should put a nighttime something in there. Yeah. They owe it to Animal Kingdom. I agree. And now that there is something that exists called Pandora, the way of Avatar, the way of water, I just feel like it would make a lot of sense to have a water themed projection experience in that lagoon there still. even though it's would be pandora not in pandora well maybe have a pandora have an avatar segment of the show yeah okay yeah yeah, yeah yeah i've just to tie things in a little bit more sure i also think... i like rivers of light i don't it was really just a lot like any of the other shows without the fireworks right and um, you got to sit in balcony seating i and it like I've said on our other stadium night seating. stadium seating. I was like balcony stadium stadium right yeah sure um like I've said on our other nighttime spectacular podcasts th that seating is really important to somebody that can't see when they're shoved in the middle of Main Street trying to see a show yeah I wish they were all stadium seating I don't know how they're gonna figure out stadium seating for happily ever after one day but I hope they do it yeah um that little oh, I just punched the microphone. <laughs> that little arena where Rivers of Light used to be is actually a really cool place to take photos because most of the time there's hardly anyone there. Right. Why so would they be? You can get a photo of you sitting alone in this like old dilapidated <laughs> stadium because it's themed to look old and dilapidated. Not because it's been so long. <laughs> it's been like a year. Yeah, it's not actually old. It just <laughs> looks old. Um, or a photo of you at the bottom against or what, where, however far down they let you go now to kind of the edge there you can get a photo of you in front of the um lagoon where they used to have the show and that mm -hmm. can make for a good photo too yeah absolutely also good picnic spot over there unfortunately you just cook because it's uncovered so yeah. you have to hope for a cloudy animal kingdom day yeah right does that wrap up your animal kingdom um it does okay i do have one more magic kingdom though oh yeah let's jump back to that then okay um I have the Neverland map on the side of um, Peter Pan's flight. Okay. So cool. there's this wall on the edge of Peter Pan's flight um, toward Columbia Harbor House where, do I mean Columbia Harbor House or do I mean Liberty Tree Tavern? Like you're walking that way. No, you mean Columbia Harbor House. Okay, I mean yeah. Columbia Harbor House. If you're walking that way... Assuming you're... Yeah, go, go on. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like across from the Tangled Bathrooms. Yes, yes, yes. Columbia right. Harbor House. Right. Um, if you're about to hit Columbia Harbor House, but you're still in the Fantasyland portion, then you'll see um, this big mural on the side of the Peter Pan building. And it's just this, like, well-painted, <laughs> or I guess it might not be painted, but this nicely fabricated Neverland map that is a good backdrop. That's where Peter Pan takes photos a lot now. But even if he's not there, then you can get a good photo there. And I'm going to lump this in with the Tangled Bathrooms because... Yeah, that's what I was getting. That's what I had forgotten. But I... It's a two for one because yeah. they're right next to each other. Have you done that photo pass photo with the lantern? I have done it once. I, had, I have not. You've never done no, that? No, the line is always insane. You literally look like Rapunzel. Oh. <laughs> I think I can't believe that you've never done that. I want to. Thing. I wanted to. We've gotten in line for it before and then like begrudgingly left after like not moving for I 10 minutes. I have also done that <laughs> <laughs> because that line is really long. It's crazy and it, it doesn't move quickly at all. There are rare times where Magic Kingdom crowds are sparse. They're hard to predict, but they happen. Um, the next time that that happens and we're there, we should, we yeah, should do it. Yeah, because I've it is, wanted to do it since I started doing it. I would say it's one of their most iconic 
photo pass spots. Yeah. When they started rolling out photo pass and introducing these magical moments, this is one of the ones I really think of because you don't forget when you see like how cool of a photo it is. It's so beautiful. Yeah. And the reason that it is so cool is because they do it at nighttime and you're each holding one half of the bottom of the lantern from Tangled. And then in the background, all of the illuminated lanterns that are strung um, on the poles in the background of the Tangled area are like the background of your photo. So yeah. it just looks like the you're lighting is totally in the world magical. of yeah. Tangled. Yeah. yeah. It's really, really pretty. Yeah. I've always wanted to do it. We should. There's also another one that reminds me of that. That's um, in the, this is not a photo pass, it's just a photo spot. Um, in the UK pavilion of Epcot, there's this archway that has foliage and lights on it. Yeah. And they've had a magic a photo pass there, and then recently they haven't, so I don't know what the current is. Sometimes there's is. a character there. Uh, yeah, during the day they put characters there. But at nighttime, those string lights turn on up in there, and you Beautiful. can get a really cute, I think it's a great couples photo spot. Yeah. Because it kind of, I feel like string lights in fake plants. And flowers, yeah. Yeah, it just looks like like a, a romantic it looks romantic garden yeah. date yeah mm -hmm. it's cute yeah string lights they go a long way i so one of my um things that i listed was just countries in epcot there are speaking so speaking of the uk yeah there are a bunch canada has a really pretty waterfall gorgeous my yeah. first trip back to disney world i took a photo back there because as a kid i'd never gone back there oh yeah wow wow i was like whoa they've got a whole I, it was shocking to me that there wasn't like an attraction or something involved with that waterfall. It just was yeah. like this beautiful, huge, scenic element of the pavilion. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. It's like jaw-droppingly beautiful. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't believe it was just kind of hanging out back there. Right. Really, really cool. Kind of hidden, yeah. The Canada Pavilion itself is gorgeous. Yeah. I think, that, I think a lot of people don't go back there. No, but even that walk of just like, the beautiful flower beds, that little house off yeah. to the side that, I don't know, is water. storage or something. Yeah. All that water, the big castle, the waterfall. Like, it's its own little Canada theme park yeah, back there. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Right. And uh, World Showcase itself, I think every country has a ton of detail. Yeah. Um, back I'll, in Japan, there's a really pretty, like, bridge with water under. Yeah, that where that uh, that one restaurant is, that yeah. quick serve is mm -hmm. over there. Um I also comes to mind the Morocco Pavilion. Yeah. Back in the actual building itself, there's this beautiful courtyard and there's a back room with like a, a beautiful fountain back there. And that can be really nice for pictures as well. Yeah. Um, it's also usually not super crowded back there unless it's a crowded Epcot day. So you might be able to get a, a photo with minimal background intrusion. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think... Um, Basically, you can find a gorgeous photo opportunity in any of the countries. I agree. The one that actually made it to my list from there, like specifically though, was Norway because they also have this gorgeous waterfall by the Frozen Ever After um, attraction. We've taken photos there. Mm -hmm. We did um, a Little Mermaid inspired <laughs> Dapper Day one year and we were like, oh, got to get like this rocky waterfall vibe in the background. And it, I feel like it worked really Nicely. And I can't see that waterfall without thinking of Maelstrom and the boats that used to be going almost over. Unfortunately, it is a little bit of a sad one yeah. <laughs> because they've walled up, you know, that yeah. portion of Maelstrom, which is a little sad. But if you don't have a, you know, strong memory with Maelstrom, then it won't bother you at all. It's very pretty. Or just crop out the top. <laughs> <laughs> it won't even make a difference. Yeah. Yeah. There, there are, I mean... Mexico has some beautiful, like, especially if you can, some beautiful places to get a picture, especially if, if you, like, happen to get a restaurant reservation at, um, San Angel. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, and you can kind of get a picture in front of the, uh, pyramid with the night sky. It's just really pretty in there. Make sure that flash is turned off. Yeah. Make That's, sure the flash is Let me tell off. you, it's dark in there. So when that flash goes off, everybody knows that it's so, yeah. <laughs> it is so um, disruptive. Right. Uh, you also don't need flash during firework shows. <laughs> PSA. They should say that over the loudspeaker. <laughs> yeah. Turn your flash off. Um, 
I will say Mexico is also home to one of my favorite character photo passes, which is Donald in his Three Caballeros yeah. outfit. What I like about that one is that I love the wall. I love the like background of the photo. Yeah. It's like this ornate decorated brick wall that's on the side of the Mexico pavilion. I think it just adds a lot to the photo. Um, I also used to love the Brave one in Magic Kingdom because it had a really ornate, specifically designed exterior background. Um, that How was weird was that? Well, it, it's just like, it was a really good movie. The only thing they did with it was that little photo spot. Yeah. Um, weird. I feel like they, it would be really cool to have like a walkthrough Brave. They should have a Brave inspired Renaissance fair area that'd be fun yeah that'd be fun um that area is being replaced by a mirabelle meet and greet from encanto so all of that land will still be used for a photo opportunity but now um i'm assuming it will be you know rethemed to be encanto inspired sure they're gonna build the whole casita. <laughs> yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. Well, we gotta wait for that one. It'll be beyond Thunder Mountain. <laughs> um I've right. gotta be honest, I'm running low. Okay. I think I'm almost done. I put the there there are two if you want a picture with the Epcot ball slash spaceship earth, there are two really good places for it. One is like legitimately right in front, like right when you go through the turnstiles. Where they have a seasonal topiary like yeah. design. If you get a picture with you in front of the topiary design, then nobody's behind you. And then the ball is behind that. That makes for a good picture without many, if any, people behind you. It, even though it's a really crowded area. Interesting. Yeah. And then it, over by like where Nemo, kind of in between Nemo and the, the land pavilion, mm -hmm. there's a spot where you can get where you're up against the railing and the ball is behind you. So that's another good one. Ones that aren't so good are really anywhere else in the front because you're going to have a ton of people behind you. Yeah, it is. The front plaza of Epcot is actually a really difficult place to get a good photo of you with Spaceship Earth because there's so many people in the background. Yeah. And now... Yet it's the most popular area to take yeah. a photo there. I don't recommend it. Yeah, taking it from behind actually might be a better deal. Well, the thing is... It, with the castle, the front of the castle is different than the back of the castle. But with the with Spaceship Earth, it's all the same no matter what side you're on. So that's true. There's, I mean, if you can get a shot that's from a different angle, you know, the Ma same. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it makes no difference. Yeah. Um, Spaceship Earth um, also has become quite photogenic at night. Yes. Because of the addition during the 50th anniversary of the lights they put oh on. Oh my there. gosh, it's beautiful. <laughs> it really is. And you can wait until um, there's like a color combination or something you like too, because it changes all the time. Yeah, yeah. That's really neat. Yeah. Um, I also used to love, love, love taking photos in front of the great movie ride once it closed <laughs> because um, nobody really was back there because there was nothing to do. Right. So in between the... Um, platform in the hub there where people sometimes stand to watch fireworks and stuff in between there and the great movie ride you could kind of just prop up and have somebody take a really nice photo of you um, now that it's mickey Minnie and uh, mickey and minnie's runaway railway there is a good photo pass photographer in a similar spot where i will say you do get some people in the background but the neon sign for Mickey and Minnie's run Runaway Railway stands out in a nice way. And mm -hmm. I think that sign is really pretty. Yeah, so I'm okay with the sign. That's pretty photogenic, yeah. The sign is cute. Yeah. Do you have any more? Um, no, I don't, that was the end of my list. Okay. Well, I'm going to do my last two. Um, and you're, I'm shocked that one, one of these isn't yours. But, oh, I probably so, just forgot it. Yeah, yeah, totally. So... My first suggestion is like with the Spaceship Earth suggestion, but in Hollywood Studios with Tower of Terror. And that's, you can get a better picture of you in front of the Tower of Terror if you go along the walkway towards the ride, like like you're going back to the ride, as opposed to being on the street in front of it where uh, everybody else is. Yeah, the photo pass on Sunset Boulevard um, has a lot of people in the background yeah. of that picture. Which, I mean, it's it's a good picture, it so is. I'm not saying don't do it, but you can Everybody try again. Scream. <laughs> you, 
you could try again um basically walking up to the ride right like as if you're about to go through the gardens yes um and then my other tower my other hollywood studios one is the muppets area of hollywood studios <sighs> because the walls and the fountain it, there's a photo spot a bunch of places back there. I've lost my mind. You have lost that your I mind. didn't Can you bring believe? this up because I have taken a million photos here. <gasps> yeah, and love it. They call that area Grand Avenue now. Okay. Um, <laughs> if you, if anybody out there cares, it's so strange. It used to be part of the streets of America. Yeah. So it didn't need its own name, but now it's the only. It's the lone survivor of the streets of America assassination. Yeah. yeah. So it gets its own name. Um, it's beautiful over there. Colorful, so, Some fun. of my favorite, oh my gosh, colorful and fun is like the whole yeah. vibe for sure. Some of my favorite spots are obviously the Miss Piggy Fountain. That's yeah. That's there. It's yeah. beautiful. They also have this, um, it's kind of a barrier between, I almost called it Muppet Courtyard, Grand Avenue. <laughs> I like Muppet Courtyard. That's what it used to be. I liked it better too. Yeah. Um, and the rest of the park, that's like, it's just a gazebo park scene yeah but it's a flat yeah and i think it's really pretty for backgrounds of photos so i think that's fun mm -hmm. um it's also very old hollywood to take a photo in front of a painted flat i just think that's yeah kind of yeah unique. um but uh i also used to love the um muppets nightmare before christmas shop that was there yeah. that had some cool muppets props and stuff in it too yeah. that were really photogenic also the christmas shop is back yeah. there you can take a photo with that concrete snowman mm -hmm. that's a for now i mean that shop's been closed for a minute so we don't know what it's gonna, what's gonna happen they would break my heart if they closed <laughs> they're that going part. to um but even back by mama melrose the walls are still like muppet themed and fun over there so there's yeah yeah there's a lot of cool photo spots all up and around the Muppet 3D show. Even on the opposite side of the pathway from Muppet Courtyard in the last true remaining block of the Streets of America, which is the same at the end of that row on one side is Galaxy's Edge and on the other side is Baseline Tap House. Mm -hmm. Those storefronts are so Fun. beautiful. Yeah. You can just take some, if you're look if you're in like a nice dapper day outfit or something, or even if you just want a nice you know, cityscape photo. I think those are really pretty over there too. You're right. Make those, you feel like you're in the movies. Yeah, those storefronts are like an Easter egg to what used to be all back there, I feel like. It actually makes me really sad yeah, same. to think about all of the amazing details in those city street flats that were lost because as a kid, some of my favorite moments of my day at Disney were just... I... just Walking up and down and exploring the details. Yes. Oh my gosh, the details were everywhere. Wishing you could go inside. Yes. Yeah, that was really gorgeous. Um, my last two like kind of normal ones, and then I've got a Christmas special, is uh, the Riviera Mose Mosaics. <sighs> gorgeous. Yes. So if you exit the, if you're staying at the Riviera, you'll probably, it, it's along the, the walk path from the Riviera Resort to the Skyliner entrance. So whether you're staying there and you're going there to get on the Skyliner, or you just hop off the Skyliner to go down there to look, those mosaics are like probably some of the most beautiful art in all of Walt Disney World. They're so, it is a level of detail at a like modern Disney resort that I think rivals, you know, classic Disney theming. It's yeah. so they're so gorgeous. They're these like um, floor to ceiling and beyond. And beyond they, like, it arches, up, yeah. <sighs> um, displays from like Peter Pan, Tangled. They're so beautiful. Yeah. Gorgeous. And there's hardly ever anybody over there. It's it's not crowded. It's anyway, you could get a really good picture there. Yeah, they're kind of off the resort a little bit. Yeah. They're right on the perimeter, so I guess people don't know to stop through there. Right. But wow. I mean, in a in a resort themed to, you know, the French and Italian Riviera, I think having such a practical demonstration of like physical fine arts yes. really goes a long way. Yes. It's gorgeous. Yes. Um and then there are a few there are a couple photo walls at Disney Springs that I really love. And I love this much more than like a purple wall or a bubblegum wall because it's like, I mean, it's like art. So there's like the one with the orange bird on oh, brick. Oh, I forgot all about this. Yeah, yeah. that's and then, really pretty. And then there's one over by the Christmas shop that's Christmas themed and it's like a postcard also. Yeah, it used to be it. frozen themed. Is it oh, still yeah, yeah, frozen yeah. themed? I don't know. 
I don't know either, but it's always like a Christmas card. Yes. I think it's really pretty. Yes. Um, I loved taking pictures of it when it was frozen themed because I love frozen. Yeah. But that orange bird one is one of my favorite little walls in yeah. all of Disney Springs because I love the idea of like having a mural on like a textured wall. It's so it's so Disney Springs. It so fits in with the the backstory of Disney Springs right. and I don't know. I just love it. Yeah. I, I love it. It just makes sense when you look at it. It does make sense. Um, my, I, I'm throwing in my favorite Christmas photo spot. Do, And do. you can throw in your favorite Christmas photo spot. Okay. Mine is in front of, in Hollywood Studios, in front of Echo Lake with Gertie the dinosaur holding the ornament and the ornaments that are like... Um, in the lake and the tree like mm -hmm. that's my favorite that, i mean that is really hard to be i have some of my favorite christmas photos from there so oh, that is tough yeah um honestly um i love photos of uh main street during christmas yes, I especially do too. at night because if you can get like honestly my favorite angle of it would be from about halfway down Main Street <laughs> between the train station and Cinderella Castle um, with the tree in the background. So you are facing Cinderella Castle. Your photographer is facing the Christmas tree and the Main Street train station. Because on the sides, you get a little bit of Main Street being lit up. Yes. I want this at night. Yes. And then, um, on all of and the, the garland and yes, yeah. and on all of the light poles, they have the Mickey wreaths, and yes. then you've got the gorgeous Christmas tree behind you. Yes, that is my and the favorite. Train station. And if you can, t and the train station is back there. And if you can time it with the fake snow falling down, yeah, golden. now that is a Christmas photo. Yes, yes, <laughs> that's also that's super a Christmas fun. card photo for sure, for sure. Yeah. All right. Hey, well, hey, we've been doing this for 56 minutes. Yeah. Can you believe? Thank you guys so much for listening. If you have any um, of your favorite photo locations, then we would love to know about it. Yeah. So if you're watching on the visual version on YouTube, drop us a comment um, and let us know what your favorite places to take photos across Walt Disney World are. Our YouTube channel is Neverland Navigation Co. Yep. Um, if you are listening to us on your the audio version on like um, Stitcher, Apple, or Google. Or Spotify. Or Spotify. Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> if you wouldn't mind subscribing to our podcast and leaving us a review, that would be super helpful. Yeah, that would be awesome. Uh, if you want some short form content from us, check out some of our TikToks over at Neverland Navco or Instagram account, which is the same. Yep. And we have an Etsy shop called Neverland Navigation. Yeah. Um, that's about going to do it for this episode. Thank you for taking this phototastic journey <laughs> through Walt Disney World. And until next time, we'll see you on our next, next adventure. adventure. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.